What's up guys, Perfy V here. New whip. This is our new Model Y, seven seater, long range. You can't get the performance, seven seats. This video is gonna be about tint. I just had it tinted. It was really hard to drive around without tinted windows. And I literally just got it back today. And I wanna show you guys what tint looks like um, on this car with what I chose to do. Uh, there's also PPF on the front, full hood, fenders, uh, bumper and the mirrors um, on our previous Teslas we had full PPF for our use case we found that just the front is what we need uh, particularly you know on this car which is a family car uh, it's gonna do a lot of road trips and that kind of stuff we're gonna do a walk around and I'm gonna explain what we got tint wise it was about deciding what works best for us on this car for its intended purpose in our use case our use case being where we live, uh, the kind of trips that we're gonna do, uh, you know, how we're gonna use it, not somebody else. So after doing a lot of research, I decided on going with Xpel XR Black, not the XR Plus, but just the XR Black. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. Number one, by looking at the specs in the darkness that I chose for this car, the Plus did not bring much extra to the table uh, and the second one is this being a black car I wanted to have something that does not have any kind of uh, blue tinge to it and some of the films including the XR Plus from Expel do have a blue tinge whereas the XR Black is more of a charcoal and this being a white car um, I don't want to keep it that way. Uh, you want that contrast, you don't want any blue in there. With that in mind, uh, it was about looking at what percentages I want to do um, on the whole car so everything's tinted. And let me walk you through what I did. So, everything with the exception of the front windshield is done in XR Black 35. And as you can see, the front is lighter than the back. Uh, but that's on purpose. I don't want that super dark look. Uh, I'm okay with it in the back because that's where the kids sit, but I don't want it. Uh, I don't want the car to look like that, all blacked out. It's not. It's not my style. Uh, I do not want to sacrifice nighttime visibility. Now I would have gone with 30. I have no problem with driving with 30, but this particular film, the 30 and the 35, do not differ much in specs. What they bring to the table, uh, solar heat rejection. There was no real point in picking 30, and I do prefer seeing a bit more light at night. So I went with 35. Uh, the back, I metered these windows from the factory before getting it. The front metered at 80 and the rear metered at 21, which is, uh, we'll call it 20. So when you apply tint to something that's already pre-tinted as the back was, uh, and the factory tint, very important point, it's tinted color-wise, but there's no protection on it. So when you apply anything to something that's already pretty darkly tinted, 20, you're gonna get it even darker, right? So this looks darker than a 20 would look, uh, the rear, uh, because it's a 20 plus a 35 tint. Uh, so that's how you get that look. And the front is an 80, which is pretty light, so pretty much automotive glass. That's what it meters as uh, when it's clear, plus the 35. So the fronts are like real deal 35. Uh, I also did the front windshield, also XR Black, 70. So that's, uh, you know, I do not want to impact visibility at all. I also did the roof, the panoramic roof, also in 35. So all the windows on the car, with the exception of the front windshield, are done in 35. So everything, the, the side glass, front and back, uh, the trunk glass, and the panoramic roof. I'm gonna open the doors so you can see what it looks like. Uh, the sun is hitting from our left right now. Uh, so I'm gonna open the doors on both sides. And I'm also gonna show you the panoramic roof. So you can kind of see with the sun from this angle, this is 35 on both, but this guy in the back starts at 20 from the factory. And the one in front has no factory coloring, which meters at 80. So that's what 35 on an 80 on an untinted window, plus a 35 on a 20, uh, which is pretty common for SUVs. All right, so here's the other side. Uh, this is just you get a different angle of the sun. So again, yeah, same thing. Rears 20 plus the 35, and the front is uh, untinted from the factory, which is 80 plus the 35. All right, let me show you from the front. All 
Again, Expel XR Black. The white interior definitely brings out um, the car, so it looks a little lighter than it would be. It would appear to be with a black interior. Here's the whole car. We're gonna do a full walk around. And then we're gonna step in it and I'll show you what it looks like from the inside. Including the roof. All right, so 35 on pretty much on tinted glass. This is 70, absolutely clear. Again, XR black, 70. 35 on tinted glass. 35 on 20. Also 35 in the back. 35 on the panoramic roof. How does it perform? It performs well. It performs very well. Um, 104 degrees, 105. I could not drive this car. Uh, I'm hoping temperatures go down like soon, like hopefully in a couple of weeks we're going to get a break. It's good that I got the tint while it's still the height of summer. It's good that I got the car back while it was still super, super hot. Um, I drove around like the whole day today, you know, because I, I went to pick it up and I drove it home, go pick up the kids. And I've done the same exact routine before getting it tinted. I've been driving it like for about two weeks, untinted, and it was it was terrible it was to, to the point that I, I would drive the other car like a gasser, uh, which is not, you know, we definitely prefer driving our Teslas, right? So um, it, it was kind of like an emergency, like it had to be done right away i found a place that uh not only got my ppf taken care of because we can we can road trip now uh without like worrying about getting like rock chips and stuff uh from from the highways but it, it was like almost like an emergency to get the car tinted because it was it was hard for me to drive it to uh to do our daily routine you know with the kids and all that so um yeah very happy with it i do not feel that i needed to go any darker at all like it does everything that i wanted to do um at the height of summer you know the, the pretty much the maximum temperatures sun is blazing you know i picked it up around noon time today so you know uh the angle of the sun when you feel it the most uh it's perfect like i do not want to go any darker so i think i uh i got it like just the way i wanted it and uh i'm, I'm super happy with the way it looks from the inside like i can really see outside uh you know this is daytime obviously but uh you know, daytime, you have a hard time telling that it's even tinted and I'm wearing sunglasses. So here's an evening shot. It's uh, 6.42 p.m. The sun's about to set in about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. So just to give you an idea what it looks like, makes a huge difference. Um, I really feel like the AC doesn't have to work hard at all uh, in the evening. Hi, kitty pie. So here's what it looks like. Again, 35 XR black on all windows, except for the front, the windshield, which is 70, so clear. Hey, kitty pie. Hi, sweetheart. So really, really happy with how it turned out. And I'll keep you updated on all of our journeys with this vehicle. So yeah, welcome. If you're new to the channel, uh, I hope that you subscribe, hit that bell icon. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. You know, if you'd like me to uh, spend some more time on the uh, PPF and whatnot, uh, or anything else, you know, and, uh, and follow along on the journey. Ciao.